get your uh, trying to turn the microphone on or off. You accidentally uh, moved me from the call. So now this we're going to have more than one here um, for today. All right now, try to be careful when you're doing that. Uh, turn the microphone on and off because it says remove from call. That means I can remove anybody from this call if I wanted to. Um, somebody had somebody walking in the behind me. I can turn that camera right away or you can keep moving from the call right away. So make sure people know that when you're when you're on the on the video, they're not walking behind you. I know sometimes at home people have been to be a little different than when they're um, here. So, all right. Anyway, so we're back with this. So this is a good one. Number eighteen. The special name for the adjectives a n and the. Special name for the adjectives a n and the. So Elizabeth, what do you got there for that? What are those called? A n and the. Do you know? Elizabeth, you might. Um, Do you know? Somebody has some music playing in the background. I don't know if they can. Uh, yeah, okay, Elizabeth, go ahead. Elizabeth, do you have it? You, you, your microphone's still off, Elizabeth. There you go. So, do you know what they're called? No. Number eight. Okay. Does anybody know what they're called? Me. Just go ahead and say it out loud. It make sure your microphone's on if you're trying to say it. What number? Uh, number 18, the special name for adjectives A, an, and the. Okay, articles? go ahead, Giselle. Yeah, that's right. Somebody said it. Articles is correct. Those are called articles. I'm going to move on to another page. So let's go to page 156. All right, and then these are for points. You remember from yesterday I told you that? All right. So one point per per uh, question here. So you either get it right or you get it wrong. Easy enough to figure out, right? All right. So here we go. Get language here. All right. So number one is incorrect. Number two is incorrect. Number three is incorrect. Number four is correct. Five is correct. Six is incorrect. Seven is correct. Eight, nine, and ten are all incorrect. So eight, nine, and ten, incorrect. Please stop taking pictures. I think, Sophia, you're doing that maybe accidentally. Well Mr. Jones, I'm not touching anything. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Is there something on your... Uh, do you have a laptop or a, anything else? A tablet. Because I'm not Maybe taking snapshots. Is, is there it something sitting on the tablet? Not NB. Oh, the source NA. I'm sorry about that. I was looking at the wrong thing. So who is NA? NA, 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 NA. Oh, it's me. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Um, and sometimes it accident ha happens accidentally when you have like something sitting on it. But anyway, so number one on modifiers, you should have underlined the correct word. So number one is well, two is isn't, and fairly. And since there are two in there, um, if you missed one of them, it's half off. Number three is steadily. Number four of them has two, one, surely and bad. Surely and bad. Number five is any. Six is has, seven is quickly, eight is well, nine is suddenly, and ten is really. Mr. Jones, would you repeat number eight? Yeah, eight was well. Any other questions? And 
also, I haven't gotten everybody's uh, language quiz from yesterday that you're supposed to take quiz five. So make sure that if you've taken that to send me a picture so I can tell you what you got on it. So you can say, know which ones that you have correct or incorrect on that. I'm going through uh, um, sticky notes like crazy because every time I do it, I just put it on a sticky note and then put it off to the side and do the next person on it. All right, so let's look at this one and see how you guys did on it um, or just get your grades from you. So Elizabeth, how many did you miss? One and a half. Okay, you're way too close to the microphone. It was very scratchy. So just do it from a little bit of a distance away. One and a half. You missed nine and a half? No, one and a half. One and a half. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Alina? Your microphone's off, Alina. Mr. Jones, okay. which one, the top or the bottom? Both together, all together. Um, six. All right, thank you. Uh, Yuri. All right, microphone, Yuri. Still on, Mike. You're still your microphone's still off, Yuri. Okay, you got to hold it up higher because you can't see it where you are. Your, your camera's pointing. Okay, thank you. Um, Daliana's here, I don't think, and then Nathan. Seven, I mean, yes, yeah, seven all together. Okay, thank you. Uh, Tejas. I don't think I've seen Tejas yet, have I? Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Sophia. And, and microphone, Sophia. Minus four. Thank you very much. Okay, and then Angelica. Mr. Jones, I. Yes, ma'am. Bye. I I'm having a hard time understanding what you're saying. You got to get a little closer. Can you repeat that, please? I couldn't hear what you said. Angelica, I couldn't understand you. Can you repeat that? My phone kept on turning off and I couldn't, I couldn't hear the answer. Okay. Just uh, go back and uh, watch the, the second video um, when we're done and you can just text me and see, tell me what you got. Okay? Okay. All right. Um, Nazar, what did you get? Four. All right. Thank you. Uh, Giselle? Okay, thank you. Elijah? Two, okay. Uh, Spock? Spock? I can't. Spock, I can't hear you because your microphone's off. It's still off, Spock. Couldn't get it to come back on. That, that's not clear enough. I can't really see it. Can you write it on your uh, whiteboard, maybe? It's kind of, it's really uh, scratchy. So, I mean, really uh, um, blurry. Thank you, Ella. Ella, what was yours? Um, mine is zero. Okay, and then, and then David, what about, David, you? what about you? Five. Five, okay. All right, Slot, let's see. All right, got you, Slot, thank you. All right, so let's look at the next part here. All right, you guys are getting ready to have a test here shortly. We really could have given it to you this week. I don't think you, you didn't have a test in your packet, did you? I don't know. Yeah, that's all right. You didn't. Um, you didn't because I remember I just put two quizzes in there. All right, so let's do this. Look at 157. 
your assignment. Now, this is going to be, um, I'm going to grade this one. This is one of those ones where you've got to name every part of speech. Okay? So, there are eight parts of speech. Um, we have a verb, noun, pronoun, um, adjective, adverb, and then conjunction, um, interjection, and what's the last one? I forget. What did I miss? Oh, preposition. Okay, so those are your eight parts of speech. And you have to identify each part of speech. Now, I'm going to help you with number one. And this is your only assignment for today for, for language. Okay? I'm going to help okay. you with number one. All right, so here we go. So, somebody tell me, where is the verb in that sentence? Or what is the verb in number one? R. A-R-E is the verb, so put V above R. All right, so we found that, okay? That's one thing. Now, what is the subject of the sentence? Who or what are? Okay, Yuri, go ahead. Marks. Marks are. Very good. Marks. And so marks, now, is marks a noun or a pronoun? Because that's the only thing to be a subject is a noun or a pronoun. So is mark a noun? Marks a noun or a pronoun? Anybody? Uh, noun or pronoun? Noun. Uh, yeah, noun. it's a noun. It's not, it's not a pronoun. It's a noun. <laughs> Um, a pronoun would be he, she, it, they. Those would be pronouns, okay? Now, what is it that can modify a noun? What's the only thing that can modify a noun? A pronoun. Describe it. Was that Nate Nazar? Pronoun. No, pronouns cannot. I mean, pronoun takes the place of a noun. An adjective. Very good. So, what kind of marks? Punctuation. Adjective. Punctuation marks, okay? So punctuation marks, punctuation is an adjective describing what kind of marks. Now, here's the next thing to look for. Prepositional phrases. Is there any prepositional phrase in that sentence? Along, along the, the reader's road. Yes, along the reader's road. So along is a preposition. So that's the first thing. And then the end of the prepositional phrase is always a noun or a pronoun. Is a, is a road a noun or a pronoun? Pronoun. Noun. Okay. Noun. Uh, it's, a, it's a noun, not a pronoun. Yeah, and pronoun. Who said pronoun? Just out of curiosity. Or okay. Yeah, a pronoun are those words that are on page number 64, 65. Those are all pronouns, so you want to make sure of that, okay? Um, and then there are some in that chapter, so look through that make sure you know those. All right, so then... What about the words between the preposition and the object of the preposition? What would those words be? Pronoun. And is a conjunction. So and on that pronoun list, uh, I think it was Sophia that said that. On that pronoun list, is the word the a pronoun? On that pronoun list, or readers, is that a pronoun? No. Right. And so you got to be, be, be aware of what a pronoun is. Again, that's chapter four. Um, is pronouns, and so you want to make sure you look over those and you know the difference between them. All right, so the and readers would both be what? They're describing the word road. Readers road and the adjectives. road. It's very good. Adjectives. So preposition, adjective, adjective, noun is that works in there. And you're going to have this on your test next week. So you definitely, definitely want to do well on this for, the, uh, for uh, tomorrow. All right, so then going back in the sentence. We only have one, two, three, four, five words that are not um, that are not um, named yet. Now, are there any, since one of the, them is a conjunction, are there any conjunctions in there? And. And is a conjunction, mm -hmm. so you can name that one. So all you have left now are four words. You have the, traffic, signs, signals. Okay? So, what would any of those be that you think? One of them is easy to know because they, they are always adjectives. Yuri, go ahead. The, the, the and traffic are adjectives. 
Yes, thank you. But the is always an adjective because it's a, n, and the are articles, and articles are always adjectives. So the is an adjective, and whoever was saying that, I think it was uh, Alina. Alina. Traffic. Traffic is an adjective describing which word? Signs and signals. Very good. It's describing both of them. Adjective, traffic, and the are describing signs and signals, which means signs and signals are what? Nouns. Nouns. They are nouns. nouns. Very good. They're nouns. Yes. They are nouns. So, somebody's tapping. Please stop. I can hear. We can y'all hear it. Thank you. All right. So your job is to do number two, three, four, and five. Now you can use your books. So be careful and use your books. All right. That's the only assignment you have tonight for language. So it should make it pretty easy for you. All right. Tomorrow we'll be working on uh, diagramming possessives, and then on uh, then we'll also be doing possessives on Friday. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, what's the assignment again? I couldn't understand you because I hear a whole bunch of noise from somebody. Somebody's doing some kind of chopping or something like that. Are you chopping your your homework up or what? I'm checking the fingers up. Probably. Okay, so what was what was it that somebody was asking me? Uh, what was the assignment again? Uh, it's parts of speech on page 157, numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5. Each word is going to be worth a point. So you want to be careful with it as much as you possibly can. And remember, this is going to be on your next test next week. So you definitely want to um, be aware of what it is you're doing on this. All right? All right, so let's go to reading now. That is your assignment, page 157, 2 through 5 on, on uh, part of speech. Mr. Jones? Yes. Are you to math? Uh, math, we have a test today, remember? Oh, yeah. Did you watch the video yesterday, Nazar? The interactive one? Somebody did it again. Let me yeah. change the view here. All right, so. Um, one that I had said I had made a mistake in the uh, syllabus, and we did lesson 99 on Monday. That was correct in the syllabus, but I also had 99 yesterday, but that was actually supposed to be 100. And then, um, okay, please, whoever's doing that, please stop. Somebody is, um, somebody is whispering or moving right near where the um, uh, their their thing is, their uh, device is, and so that makes it really difficult because it's so much noise for everybody else. So if you're not speaking, just go ahead and mute your microphone. So that way we can discuss. Now we are going to discuss some things. You will need to get ready to turn it back on, or at least be quiet in front of your microphone so that we can uh, listen to everybody and hear everybody. All right. So here we go. Uh, I so did we're going to go ahead. What? I did less than ninety nine. Okay, sir. What did you do Monday then? Monday. Yeah, because Monday it was assigned also lesson ninety nine. So, Nazar, okay, everybody else, uh, Nazar, um, I'll have to, I want to talk to you afterward, okay? So, I'll call after we're done so that I can uh, speak to you about uh, the other things that you're doing. All right, so here we go. So, we're going to talk about conflict. Now, you have no assignment for reading as far as work text page, but we're going to discuss this talking about conflict. So, what is conflict in a story? Somebody tell me, what is conflict? Conflict. Okay, go ahead, Nazar. Who has stopped? Who has something that's running in the kitchen? Mr. Jones, somebody's running something in the kitchen. Wow, I just said that, Elena. <laughs> Who is running something in the kitchen? Nobody wants to admit it. If you are, please turn your microphone off or turn your so that people we don't hear it. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody was right there where the kitchen was. They could hear the uh, blender. Point. All right. So here we go again. Let's try this again. All right. So the question is, what is conflict in a story? What is it? What does it mean? What is conflict in a story? You're telling a story. What is the conflict part of it? Anybody? I know. Okay, Nazar. 
Go ahead, Nazar. It's uh, when two uh, two or more people uh, disagree on something. Two or more people do what? Disagree on something. No, that's not conflict at all. You say Mr. agree Jones? or disagree. I know. Disagree. I know. Hey, okay, hey, just hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Patience. Um, is that is that Sophia? Huh? Was that Sophia saying I know? <coughs> was that Sophia that was saying that, or was that somebody else? Oh, Alina. Alina. Okay, so Alina, go ahead. What what do you want to say? Mr. Jones. I'm sorry, what? It wasn't me. Oh, okay. So I didn't think it was her. Uh, was that you, Sophia, that was saying, I know, that you wanted to give an answer? Your microphone's off, Sophia. All right, we'll go to somebody else. Looks like somebody just dropped out. Oh, she did. She must have had problems with her phone. Okay. Um, how about you, Ella? What, what do you think conflict is? If you have conflict in your life, what does that mean you have? Like struggling? Yeah, you have struggles. It's something you struggle with, something you have trouble with. And so that's what conflict is. So in a story, it's the same thing. It's a, it's a struggle. It's a problem. It's, it's something that is happening that is causing um, a difficulty in the story. Okay? So um, I am going to read some sentences to you. So tell me where, um, whether or not um, there's conflict in this story. The dog barked. The cat jumped. The lamp fell on the floor. So interesting story, right? Nathan, do you see any conflict there? Um, he's struggling with catching a shark. What? Where did hey, I read about a shark? Mr. Are John? <laughs> Where are we? Okay. Are we on I, am reading, I am reading. I am reading you something. This is not to do with the lesson oh. from yesterday at all. We're not doing a worksheet oh. about this. We're just having discussion here. So, Mr. John? Um, okay. Mr. Um, John? Yes, hold on. Hold on, please. All right. Sophia, you've got, look, either turn your camera on so I can see your hand. But if you keep yelling out, yelling out, I'm trying to talk to somebody. It makes it really difficult. So try to um, if, turn your camera on. I can see you with the um, camera. And if you don't want to, that's fine. But then just say your name one time because when I'm talking, there's a little bit of a delay. So you might not be able to hear me talking to somebody else. Okay? Yeah. Somebody is muting okay. everybody. Who is doing that? Well, I told people to mute themselves if they are um, if they're not talking at the time. So that's why they're all muted. No, somebody's coming and muting everybody. Like they're muting. Is that correct? You. Is somebody doing that? Please, yes, whoever is doing that, please stop. Their mouse. Yeah, somebody's. That's moving. me moving the mouse right now. I'm moving the mouse. Oh, that's. That's me, but I'm not muting people. Yeah. So is that why? I, you... No, I saw somebody else. Like it wasn't you. Um, I saw somebody muting people. Okay, um, so whoever is doing that, please don't. It's not your job to do that. Thank you. Anyway, here's the story again. The dog barked. The cat jumped. The lamp fell over. So where's the conflict in that story then? That's what I was asking you, Nathan. Oh, uh, uh, the cat jumping. I mean, it's that's knocking conflict. over the, the, le the lamp, the lamp knocking over. Yeah, not really. There's really not much conflict in there. Um, mm -hmm. Let me, uh, the, the idea is that um, how could we add some conflict to this uh, story? And, and we have the three facts there. So what could we add to it to make conflict in this story or to create conflict? The what cat we add was to it? scared. Go ahead. Okay, cat the was cat scared, was... but we already knew that. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, David. What, what else can we add? The cat jumped on the bull, and the bull ran into the house. Uh, I'm sorry, oh. jumped onto the bull? The cat jumped on the bull, and the bull started running into the house. A bull. B-U-L-L. -L. Do you guys have bulls uh, roaming free in your yards, or what? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> um, often. Let's, let's try to think of something a little more realistic as far as conflict. So, uh, Who else would like to try? How about you, Ella? 
Um. Let me let me give you an, an idea here. Go ahead, Alina. You have something. Emma. Can you repeat the sentence? <laughs> no, that's okay. Let, let's just listen for a moment. Okay. What I'm trying to, to do is this. We have the three simple facts. The cat, I mean, the dog barks, the cat jumps, and the uh, lamp fell over. Okay. Fell on the floor. So let, let's add some, some details here that might help you to understand what I'm talking about with conflict. So the idea is this. So let's say that um, the boy was alone in the house. And he thought he heard something outside, but he wasn't sure. And he realized that um, he may not have been in a safe position because the front door was unlocked. And so as he was heading toward the front door, he heard a really loud noise outside. He says at that time, at that point, the dog barked. And then the cat jumped up and he knocked over the lamp. And then he saw the door open. Okay. So you see where the conflict now is, has become that person outside, that he doesn't know who it is that's making that noise. And so that's where we're talking about with conflict. Just the, the lamp falling over, that's not really conflict. It's not a struggle mm -hmm. we're going through. The struggle that he, he is dealing with or the problem he's dealing with is the fact that he's not safe and that there's somebody possibly outside who's going to get him. Of course, we'll finish the story. The door came open completely, and his mom and dad came in and yelled surprise for his birthday. So, um, just to make it a nice story, so nobody has bad news tonight. All right. Um, so, uh, let's look at, um, think about the story of Spear for Omar. It's in pages 308 to 314, so go ahead back there. A Spear for Omar. All right. So, now... Um, sometimes authors use different types of conflict. Now, what were, what were the, three, what were the uh, types of conflict that had appeared in, oh, well, first of all, what are the four types of conflict? You guys did from your reading yesterday. I'm sure you all did it, right? External, what were the four types of conflict? Mm -hmm. Internal. Okay. I did. Internal, external. And then um, two other types. What? Primary and secondary conflict. Okay. Primary and secondary. So in in um, uh, a spear for Omar, um, what was the internal conflict for him? What do you think, Shalak? What were the what were the what was the internal conflict for Omar? What was the issue he was dealing with on inside of him? Okay, Yuri, go ahead. Okay, microphone. Microphone, Yuri. Hold on, I'll get to your other ones. You still having a problem with your microphone, Yuri? Okay. He's writing it down. He's writing it down. He was afraid of the ocean. Well, it wasn't just that. Um, that was part of it. But what else, Giselle? Go ahead. You're going you're gonna to have to speak a little louder, and then whoever it is that's messing around with their microphone or near their microphone, please stop. It's so hard to hear other people when that, that's going on. Okay, go ahead again, Giselle. I'm sorry. His brother's hands got stuck in a clam. His mother what? Hey, Andre? I mean, uh, I mean uh, Nazar? Yeah? Can you turn your microphone off real quick? Not you. Um, it's only either Elizabeth or Ella or David. One of the one of you guys is doing it because I can constantly hear this noise behind in the background. Or maybe Yuri because his microphone's back on. What? Yeah, you're on now. 
So maybe it was you. Why does it have to be now that it doesn't? I don't know. Uh, I'm sure that it, it, the the spirits out there that decided it was um, just picked that time for fun. I have no idea. All right. Anyway, go ahead. Just don't give them the answer. And Yuri, mute, mute your microphone. That his brother's hand got stuck in a clam and he went in the ocean and saved his brother. Okay, well, that was the external conflict. And that is true. Um, the external conflict was that he had to save and rescue his brother. And what else was out there besides that, besides the clam? What was the other external thing during that time? Go ahead, Yuri. There was a shark. Yeah, there was a shark. I and mean, remember the shark was circling, and he was trying to save his brother who was caught in this clam. And, uh, and so that would be kind of a scary thing, but that, those are external conflicts. His internal conflict had to do with his fear of water, not just the ocean of just being under the water in and of itself. Um, and so that was his external conflict. Do you have something else yourself? Um, no, but someone is sharing their screen with me. Okay, please, uh, whoever's doing that, um, please, you may have accidentally hit it. Um, it's on the, I'm trying to figure out where it is to do that. Oh, at the bottom right, it says share screen. Don't share your screen. Um, and somebody's moving things around up there. I can see them. Yeah, I have somebody who's recording themselves, maybe. Um, and it's moving, they're moving different people around right now. Who is that? Who is, who is doing that? Somebody has a recording going. I can see that they have different pictures up there and doing different things on their screen. All right, anyway. Uh, okay, so getting on. Um, so the problem is that he has these internal and external problems. How, how are both solved at the same time? What do you think, um, uh, Sophia? How are they both solved at the same time? Remember the story about a spear for Omar? and his fear of the water, and then he has an incident happen that helps him to overcome both fears, both conflicts at the same time. Um, Somebody's still moving papers right in front of the, the microphone. Please stop doing that. Go ahead, uh, Sophia. What was the question? I couldn't hear you. Somebody's... Yeah, yeah. You ready? Uh, I'll tell you right now. Okay, so the question was that um, people uh, that in the in the story, a spear for Omar. Um, yeah. Omar had two conflicts, internal and external. Both of those conflicts were solved in the same at the same time in the same incident. What was the incident that occurred that helped him to solve both of those conflicts? The internal conflict, he was afraid of the water. The external conflict um, was that he was, um, his brother was caught underneath the water and there was that shark and the clam that were causing his brother and him problems. Um, he slapped the shark across the nose. Yeah, when he actually went, had to go into the water to rescue his brother, and he had to pull him free of the clam, and he had to, um, and then the shark came after him, and he was able to overcome that fear. Now, do you think there was still fear? Of course, there probably was. Um, but he was able to overcome that fear of the ocean through the fear of the shark. The fear of the shark helped him. And once he was able to defeat the shark, he defeated that fear of the ocean or the water as well. All right. So mm. that's, that's it for today as far as your um, – um, uh, assignment for reading. And again, you have that math test. Send me a copy of it, a picture of it when you're done. That way that I can get it back to you and you can do your corrections on it. You can. You don't have to send me the corrections as well. You can't. If you send me the corrections next Monday, I can get those done on Monday. But do send me the test so that I can at least say, you're easy. Stop playing now. Okay. Anyway, so if you if you want to um, send me that test, I can get back to you what it is. You can do your corrections right there. Mark down which ones you have wrong and then correct those. All right? Any other questions about today? Yes, uh, Giselle. I'm on the Lena screen. Uh, I, you know what, ma'am? Everybody's on everybody's screen. 
Oh, you mean you're seeing her? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Some people are playing around, obviously, and so we'll just have to deal with there. But is there any actual questions about the work that you need to get done? No. All right. Mr. So, Jones? So you're doing, you're doing your work right away, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, if you have Mr. any questions Jones? or anything, hold on a minute, please. If you have any questions about anything, um, aside from in the video, once I answer these questions, if you have any other questions, you're more than welcome to call me. Not just text me, but if you want to call me, you can do that as well. All right? All right, go ahead, Sophia. Um, what is the word text uh, page for reading? Yeah, as I said several times already, there is no work text page today. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in okay. our reading book, it says that we... Well, never mind, actually. That was from yesterday. The one from yesterday was 127, 128. And no, then today, I, though... There's... No, I did uh, sixth grade. I went 161 and 162. Gotcha, gotcha. I understand. Yeah, that, that can be confusing sometimes. I understand. All right. Any other questions then? Yes, Alina. So there's You're no reading today? Just what we just did together. That was all we we're going to do. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and hang up. Remember, don't hang out on this chat room if you want to chat on something else. Have a good day. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, Alina.